You see, the time has ran out on somebody for this game. Too many athletes, too many business people, too many students, you give up after a loss. But I'm here to tell you today that you can be a champion. Yeah, you can win because that's just one game. That might just be one season. But you can get to the next level if you just want to be a champion. I've got five See, quick things for you. is a powerful thing. It can be persuasive and it can be motivating. Let me say that again. Hunger can be a powerful thing. It's persuasive and motivation. Successful businesses, I've seen successful businesses all throughout the world. And one of the things I notice about these successful businesses, they have billions and billions of dollars now that they've started. And the reason it started because it came from one simple idea. Somebody was hungry to get their product out. And in order for them to get their product out, they went after what they wanted. So I'm asking you today, are you hungry Some of you are right ahead. there at the doorstep of being a champion, but you just gotta have hunger. You've gotta have effort. You've gotta have a good attitude. You've gotta show some respect, but most importantly, you've gotta have taste. How many out there wanna be champions? I know it's, it's, it's lying dormant in you, but this message today that you're hearing from uh, TMI, it is going to inspire you to be a better athlete, inspire you to be a better businessman, inspire you to be a better student, and it is going to push you to being a champion. Do you have the heart? That's what it spells, hunger, H, effort, E, A, attitude, R, respect, and T, taste, it spells heart. Do you have the what heart is the to word be a sacrifice me? Uh, uh, and that's a great question. Sacrifice is a voluntary surrender of something for something else that has a greater value. I think I need to say that again. Sacrifice is a voluntary surrender of something for something else that has a you greater got to value. You've to find out what that hunger is. What are you hungry for? That's your first step. Find your hunger. Then your second step, you've got to go after it, and you've got to go after it hard. you got to go after it with all your passion. See, God has gifted us with a passion. He's gifted us with the, a passion and a hunger to go after and to succeed. So what are you going to do? So you've got to, you've got to identify your hunger, and then you've got to go after your hunger hard. And then you cannot be uh, uh, interrupted. You can't let anybody uh, take your focus away. So you've got to be focused about going uh, hard at your hunger. makes things happen. And, and, and so when you decide in your mind that you're going to change, you gotta, you got to see three things. Three in order for us to be better than what we are, a sacrifice has to be made, it has to be intentional, and it has to be now. We have to give up something in order to gain something greater. That's why I'm, I'm asking at the beginning, are you willing to sacrifice in order to be better? Have, have, have the seeds of success been planted? The seeds of success are planted by hard work. They're planted by sweat. They're planted by intense preparation. Too many people want to succeed, but they want success handed to them. In this society, this society is not giving you anything. So uh, that's why it's important for us to sacrifice Some people to get don't our want you to change because you are leaving them where they are. Oh yeah, that, that's a nugget for somebody today. You don't, they don't want you to leave them, but you trying to get better for yourself. This is the day to be selfish because you're trying to change for yourself. And guess what? As you change, then some of the people hanging around you will notice your change, and then that will be better for them because they're going to try to strive to get to where you are. So how many out there today the want to change? is something that we all get caught in having. We all want a good reputation. We nobody wants a bad reputation. First of all, reputation is built by other people. That's right. Other people build your reputation. It is what other people say about you. So if you're not who you say you are, people want to find out eventually in the end. But other people are the ones that have some say about your reputation. But the thing about reputation is, if you are through with people, the reputation that you display is eventually going to come out. sign that you need to understand that you're winning is, is that you're pushing past your pain. That's right. You're pushing past the pain in your life. The pain of yesterday. The pain of today. The pain that people say that's in front of you tomorrow. You're pushing past the pain because
because you no longer want to reside in that street. You want to take yourself to the next level. You want to push yourself past the pain in your life. When your body wants to give up, you're pushing yourself. When your mind wants to give up, you're pushing yourself. When everybody says you can't do it, you're pushing past those remarks and you're changing levels right before the ownership eyes. of the problem. That's right. We've got to take ownership of the problem. And we got to be honest with the, having the problem. We also have to be honest with how we got the problem. And some of us really find ourselves to blame for losing our edge. But also, there's too many people who are denying the problem. You got to stop denying it. The more you deny the problem, the worse the problem gets. So you got to stop denying that problem. And if you do, it's going to continue with that downward spiral of losing your edge. So you got to take ownership of the problem. But secondly, you got to release the flow in your life. Yeah, you got to release the flow in your life. Determine that you're going to make it. Determine that it doesn't matter what is coming before you. What has to happen is that your success is going to be determined. You are the one that is seeking after it, so you're the one that's going to chase it to the finish line. That's right. You've got to chase it. Chase your vision. Chase your passion to the finish line because you're wanting to put yourself at a different level. You're wanting to get to the level that you are seeking and you know that you're not yet. Yeah. Winning this battle against yourself is, is that you no longer are settling for average. Oh man, somebody got that today. You're no longer selling for being average. Average, everybody can do. Average people can do getting out of bed. Average people can do going to bed at night. But if you're wanting to be above average and being excellent, you've got to do some more things in your life and you're not selling for being average. Average people don't get the jobs. Average people don't pass the test. Average people don't change levels the way you're changing levels. You're winning because you're not selling for being one word average. to define our relationship, and that is committed. Valerie, Miller, and I are committed to one another. But here, here's three things under that. Under that commitment, we first were committed to Christ. Yeah, we gave our lives to Christ and we celebrated Christ. He's only concerned about our character. You know who's concerned about the reputation? Other people, including our enemies. But let me, let me tell you something. Too often we get caught up with allowing our audience not to look like the video or sound like the video. But see, when we don't allow our audio to, to sound like the video, all we're doing is lip syncing our It becomes stagnant. And that is what has happened in so many of our lives. We've become stagnant in where we are, and we've got to get our edge back. So we've got to take ownership of the problem, then we've got to release the flow in our life. But here's the final thing. we got to focus on our potential. Yeah, we got to put the focus back on our potential. And that has to become the driving force in what we're trying to do. It has to become the driving force of getting our now, edge We're only going to get so many opportunities, so many moments that we can master. And how do we master it? I know you're asking that. How do we master those moments? We've got to take every opportunity that we have and take advantage of it. In order for us to take advantage of those opportunities, this is, we've got to wake up. Yeah, we got to wake up. We've got to open our eyes and start seeing things when they happen. We've got to see that we're not progressing. We've got to see that we're not uh, being uh, advancing ourselves. We've got to see that we have not mastered our moment. So you got to wake up. So all of you out there, you're sleeping too much. You're, you're dreaming too much and not going after what you've been dreaming about. As you got to wake up. Christ, Christ taught us how to love one another. So we had a genuine love each for Jesus Christ. She loved Christ, and I love Christ, but then Christ showed us how to love one another. Your potential is your advantage. Oh man, I just gave you something so powerful. Because when you think about your potential, it gets you to going again. And you have so much potential. But if you sit back and let those things that happen to you uh, take away your edge, you don't, you, you stop realizing your, your potential. Change. That's right. Once you get to distinction, your mind has to change. You can no longer be solo. You can no longer be thinking just about yourself. 
you've got other people that you have to think about. So your position forces you for your mind to change. Your mind cannot stay the same. You cannot bring your own mindset into this level that you're in now. Your mind has to be renewed. It has to be refreshed. It has to change so that you can continue to be busy. But we also have a convention for communication. Oh, that's a taboo word for so many men out there. You got to learn to communicate with your spouse so that you can continue to have a strong, healthy marriage. Despite what the surveys say, despite what all the statistics say, you can have a happy marriage if you continue to learn There's to communicate. There's several keys that you already have working in your favor that is going to let you get better, that is going to let you make it. And here's what I want to tell you. The first key is that you are in the right position, right where you are. Don't let nobody tell you you need to move over just a little bit or you need to wait just a little while longer. No, you are in the right position today to start fresh. Forget about those things that are behind you. Forget about the things that have hurt you. Forget about the things that have harassed you in the past. You're in the right position today to take them to your better. It's just like you're coming to your parents. You can no longer um, just live for yourself or live for, for today. You've got to make sure that your child has something to look forward to in the future. You've got to put away some money for your child for the future. You have a responsibility. So when others are looking up to you, you are responsible for helping them get to your level. Don't be one of those that want to hold on to all the power. You've got to share this power. As soon as the first obstacle comes our way, as soon as the first barrier is put our way, as soon as the first time we're being told no, you've got to win against all odds. In order to win against all odds, you've got to be going. So don't quit. But I got three quick things that I want to talk to you about so that it can help you uh, gain uh, advantage. Over you have the right passion in your heart. If you can understand that what God has gifted you with is right inside of you, and you've just got to set it forth into action, and you've got to believe in your heart that you can make it. That's right. I already know that you can make it. You have the qualities to make it. So all you've got to do is push for, for your destiny, for your purpose, for your plan, for your prosperity. You can make it, but you've got to push for it. You've got to fight for it. You've got to go through every barrier that is because nothing can stop you from making it but you. That's right. You're the only one that can stop it from making it. Covenant of marriage. That's right. This marriage is, it, 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 to me, it is, it is a job. It is something, a work in progress. We hadn't, we, listen, marriages have issues. Marriages have problems. And Valerie and I have had our problems. But the thing is, we were committed to the covenant of marriage. We understood the importance of being marriage being married and what it stood for. And we understand that other couples are watching. We understood that our children were watching. So with marriage as an expectation for so many people, we had to be the one that showed them how to do it. So in marriage, you have to have a covenant. Understand that you want to stay together. I told my wife when we first got married, I said, listen, we're in this for the long haul. Divorce is not an option. So we're going to have to work through our situations. We're going to have to work through our issues because nobody uh, uh, really cares that much about how marriages proceed. But we took a different viewpoint of how marriage was because it was important to, to us. That's right. So the journeys that you're going through right now is just there so somebody else can read and hear about your story. You should be excited about that because the struggles that you're going through, the trouble that you're going through, all the trials and tribulations that you're going through are actually there, not for you, but they're there for the person that's watching you. That's right. People are watching you as you struggle and they're trying to find out how you're going to get out of this. Maybe somebody that hadn't even been born yet. No more excuses. You cannot make any more excuses why you can't get to the next level. You've got all the resources you need. You've got all the tools you need. You even got all the motivation that you need. Too many people are, are, are not getting to the next level because they're making so many excuses. It doesn't matter how many hurdles you have to jump at this point in your life, you're going to jump those hurdles. It doesn't matter how many repetitions you have to put in in the weight room or in the classroom or in your study time, you're going to do what you need to do. 
no more. It is your time, and your time is now for you to rise up.